So our next speaker is someone who liberates animals from farms and from slaughterhouses. Someone who puts herself in positions that most of us would never want to put ourselves into. Because she recognizes that the power of doing that and raising awareness to the horrors of what happens in these places, as well as taking animals out of the hell holes that we have imprisoned them in, far exceeds any discomfort that she feels while doing so. She's a true hero in the animal rights community and is a stand up example of how to do direct action. So please give me a round, warm round of applause for me. Standing where you are now, listening to Ed's speech at the end of the march, crying my eyes out. Now, I had already been vegan for a few years at this point, but it had never even crossed my mind that I could be doing something more than just being vegan. I thought that by simply not contributing to their suffering, my hands were clean, my job was done. But it was only in that moment that I realized that being vegan is actually the bare minimum that we should be doing for the animals. And as I stood there with tears streaming down my face, I asked myself, what have you been doing this whole time? The animals need us to fight for them more than ever right now. And it is our moral duty to be active for them. So a few days later, I went to my first ever vigil with East, with East London Chicken Safe. Yes. <laughs> I remember waking up to my alarm at three in the morning with work later that day, thinking, what on earth am I doing? I had no vegan friends, no activist friends, so I went by myself. Freezing cold outside, pitch black, walking towards the slaughterhouse, alone. And I was absolutely petrified. I had already been so nervous and anxious for the whole week leading up to the event. And I had already cried so many times just imagining what it would be like. But I just knew deep down that it was something I needed to do. So that morning, we stood outside for hours, waiting, hoping to catch just a glimpse of the animals, to be able to apologize to them on behalf of humanity for all of the atrocities and lifelong suffering that they had been forced to endure. And when the truck finally arrived, the first thing that hit me was the sound of sheer silence. Now, I had mentally prepared myself for the chickens to be panicking, thrashing around, clucking, desperately trying to escape. But every single one of them was totally emotionless, already dead inside. And there we were, standing there, staring into the eyes of babies who after just 30 short days on this earth, had already given up on life. And it was in that moment that I told myself that I would dedicate the rest of my life to putting an end to this. Three years later, I recently organized my own event with friends in Spain, where we rescued 39 laying hens from a so-called free-range farm. And we exposed the biggest supermarket in the country. 
country. We stormed into that farm in broad daylight with our faces uncovered and we took as many hens as we could out of there to bring them to safety. We filmed the whole action and we shared it all over the internet because we are not ashamed to be on the right side of history. and I hope they saw every single video of us inside that farm. In fact, I hope they're listening to me right now when I say that you don't get to abuse animals anymore. Because you are going to have to get past us first. Now just a couple years ago I would never even dreamed of having the confidence to do anything like that. But here I am telling you the story in hope that even just one of you may go away today feeling inspired to become active in the same way that I was inspired at this same march. So finally, I just wanted to take a moment to appreciate everything that we have achieved so far this year as a collective. All the cubes, vigils, disruptions, marches, open rescues, documentaries, university talks, street interviews, hunt sabs, 269, meet the victims, takeovers, lockdowns, investigations. Plus, all the anonymous actions that we don't even hear about. We have achieved so much and I am so proud to be fighting alongside every single one of you. We have come so far, but we still have a very long way to go. So please, get active. Go to the slaughterhouses, go to the farms, Close these hell holes. Go in there and take the animals out in your arms and bring them to sanctuaries. Take matters into your own hands because we do not have time to waste. We are in a critical state of emergency with hundreds of thousands of innocent animals being murdered every single second of every day. But we are rising, we are stronger than we have ever been and we will see that vegan world because we 